let's begin with an overview of the muscular system. The human muscular system is made up of muscles and the central nervous system and peripheral nerves that control those muscles. The muscular system is made up of more than 700 skeletal muscles. And this system provides structural rigidity and support for the body and is primarily responsible for heat generated in the body. It's involved in regulating systemic blood pressure by vasoconstriction of smooth muscle in blood vessels. The muscular system produces movement by contracting and exerting forces on tendons to move bones. Let's summarize skeletal muscle function. Skeletal muscles produce the movements of the limbs and the entire body through muscular contraction, which delivers force through tendons to move bones. Skeletal muscles also maintain body posture, such as in a sitting or standing position. The position of the head on the neck or the position of an arm or leg is also a result of skeletal muscle function. Skeletal muscles also support soft tissues, such as organs in the abdominal cavity. They are supported in the cavity and protected by the skeletal muscle of the abdominal wall. The entrance and exit of the internal tracts, such as the digestive tract, are regulated by the opening and closing of circular skeletal muscles. Additionally, because muscle contractions produce heat, skeletal muscles produce and help to maintain the internal body temperature. There are three types of muscle in our body, skeletal muscle, smooth muscle, and cardiac muscle. Skeletal muscle is attached to bones and is responsible for voluntary movement. Smooth muscle are the chief muscles found in internal organs and blood vessels and they perform involuntary movement. Cardiac muscle, which is found only in the heart, is responsible for the contraction of the heart and the generation of blood pressure. The myocardium or heart muscle is an involuntary striated muscle found in the walls of the heart. Myocardial cells are separated by intercalated discs. These are specialized cell-to-cell -cell adhesion sites that facilitate the coordinated contraction of the heart muscle. The myocardium contains contractile fibers and a lot of mitochondria for energy production. The intercalated discs. One special feature of myocardium or heart muscle is the presence of intercalated discs. These play an important role in functionality of heart muscle. These discs are interlocking membranes linked by cell junctions, called desmosomes. These connect adjacent cells together. They allow the electrical signals to flow rapidly from cell to cell. They also have gap junctions that allow direct movement of ions to help with the propagation of the signal. The gap junctions help to spread depolarization in the heart muscle in order to coordinate simultaneous contractions. Smooth Muscle Smooth muscle is made up of spindle-shaped cells which are non-striated. Actin and myosin are arranged in long bundles that form a lattice around the central nucleus. There is abundant actin in smooth muscle, although there are no T-tubules. There are two types. Number one, single unit. Single unit smooth muscle lines hollow organs in the body. And number two, multi-unit. Multi-unit smooth muscle lines the large airways that lead to the lungs, and blood vessels.